The ability to add parameterized test cases enables you to write test cases once and then run different instances multiple times. It's a key capability in test management that saves time, enables you to scale up your testing more efficiently and helps avoid mistakes when writing repetitive tests. Within QA Complete, this works at three stages within the test process. First, within the test library, we can define our test cases and specify parameters in the test steps. So this high level test case for order maintenance entry has two test steps. And when I develop and edit this test case and define the test steps, I can define parameters with this syntax. Parameters can be used in both the test steps and the expected results. Once the parameters have been defined within the test steps, we need to add the parameterized variables or token values as they're called in QA Complete. And these are uploaded from a CSV file. That CSV file can be edited in tools like Excel or text editors. And in each column, we specify the parameters and in the rows we specify the variations for the test case. So when I upload this parameterization file, we'll see that QA complete works out that there will be three repetitions of this test case when we run it in a test set and the parameters it's expecting from that CSV file at execution time are username and password. Once we've defined the test cases with the parameters, we can then include those test cases within our test sets. In this example, we have a test set that contains two test cases, one of which was our parameterized test case. When we execute this test set against a release and a configuration specified in the QA complete run window, so version one, run it against Windows XP IE7. The first thing we'll notice is that this test set now has four test cases rather than the two test cases that were included in the test set. And that is because one of the test sets was parameterized and we now have three repetitions of that test case. When we run the test case, we'll see that the parameters have been used and replaced the, the variables that we specified. So these variables relate to the parameters that were defined in our CSV file. If we pass this test case and move on to the next one, we'll see the next test case with the different parameter values in. And on completion of the test run, we'll see that we have test results for all of those repetitions of the particular test case. And if we view that in the test library, come back and look at our order maintenance test case and view the run history, we'll see each of those instances that will run against a particular release and configuration. So in short, parameterization is a very useful feature that simplifies managing permutations of test cases does bring with it its own set of issues and complexities, like how easy is it to manage the parameterized data set, but it is usually a far simpler way to manage an otherwise complex part of your test process.